Hey. What are you doing? I'm making a list for a viola for when I go into the hospital. Okay, well, I I went to the grocery store. Look, I, um... Rick, I, I didn't see his car out there. He's at work. Okay, well, I thought he was going to take you to the hospital. Uh, well, you're here, so I'm hoping maybe you can take me. Yeah, of course, I'm sure. I just, I really thought that maybe you would want well, to yeah, take you. Well, right with you. I prefer that you do it. I got your text. What are you doing here? What? Oh, I'm so happy to see you. I just landed. I got a text mm. from Sam saying that you weren't doing well. Is everything okay? How can I help? About two hours ago. Ten hours before that, Jax broke my heart. I didn't know that you got in touch with Jax. Yeah, I know how close you two are, and I figured Jax would want to know that his best friend wasn't feeling well. She's right. Can I get you something? You know, I am... Um, I've got a ton of things to do before we take you to the hospital, so I'm going to go do them. Now, how serious is this? Well, I'm going to fill you in, but can I just say something? I didn't think this was possible. You actually got a better look. <laughs> Mom, why are, you, uh, why are you avoiding? I was so happy to see you, and I, I can't believe that you flew back here. Oh, you know I'd do anything for you. But to be completely honest, I didn't come here specifically for you. I was tracking down Carly. Thinking, falling in love with Jax. When we left town, I was proactive, you know? I had Patrick Drake as a distraction, all that time and energy spent taking care of Sonny, and every week I kept thinking, this is the day that I stopped thinking about Jax. And that didn't happen, and I'm still crazy about him. Okay, just tell me what happened when you got to Africa. That's. Oh, you know, all fun and games for Jax, five points for showing up, a couple extra points for bringing the boys. At least Michael and Morgan got to see the pyramids. And hooray, I passed Jax's test. I proved to him that I still thought about him, that I still cared about him. Like, he couldn't tell that when I asked him not to leave. What is it about you? Me? You know, what, what is I... it about guys that like to make the women they say they care about grovel at their feet? Okay, don't blame me. I am not Jack. Well, where's Sam? Because when I left here, you were going to go tell her that you were wrong and you needed her back in your life. I can look around and tell that she's not here. Where Leave is she? Leave her alone. Sam and I are over. I'm taking a lithium. I don't understand, Jason. Before I left, we talked, and you realized it was pointless for you and Sam to be apart. Doesn't matter anymore. Did you or did you not drive over there and tell Sam that you wanted to be with her and that you loved her? Other stuff happened. Like what? I really don't want to talk about it. What did Sam do to you? Sam and I won't be getting back together. Just you know, forget about it and move on. It's been a long time since I got to lecture you about Carly. Oh, come on. It's easy for you to talk. You're happily married. Maybe you should consider reconnecting with Sam. Well, really, I, I don't think that would, would work, but thanks for the suggestion. <laughs> I guess it really doesn't matter who does what with whom in the end. What do you mean in the end? How, how sick are you? I have lung cancer. <sighs> I'm sorry. No, 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 no don't, don't say it. I missed you. What can I do? Nothing. I mean, you have to beat this. Right? You have to fight. I need you to keep telling me that.
Sonny, do you or don't you want treatment? You give me one reason why I should. Oh, because it would help you sustain a healthy and a lasting relationship. That would not help. I need Michael's laptop. I don't want to hear I told you so about Jax. Thanks for being here. Take out of the hospital today. They're going to take out the left lower lobe of my lung. Well, where's Rick? Shouldn't you be glued to your side? You know that we don't have a traditional relationship. You about to go under the knife and your husband is missing in action? He's at the office. He's filling in as interim DA, and that way I know that everything will be taken care of at the office. So then when I walk right in, I won't have anything to worry about. See, that's positive thinking. Oh, come on, Rick's your husband. He should be focused, you know, on you. Who cares about the work thing? This is not important. This is, this is far more important. He'll be at the hospital later. In the meantime, I have my perfect ex-husband here who's making me so happy that I'm even starting to forget that I'm afraid. You remember uh, when we crashed the helicopter in the desert and we thought we were going to die? Mm -hmm. The good old days. You remember how positive you were? You made up your mind that we were going to survive. And that's exactly what you have to do now. I'm a big believer in positive thinking. I really am. It's just that only takes you so far. No, no, no. no. Takes you all the way. A true believer decides to win and wins. Maybe it's a male female thing, yin yang. I don't care, I don't care what it is. I want you to repeat after me. I can beat this thing. I get the picture. No, 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 no. I'm not kidding. I'm not I kidding. I want you to repeat it after me. I want you to repeat. I can beat this thing. I can beat this thing. I want to beat this thing. I want to live. But I still have to prepare my family and my children for the worst. Hey, we're here. I just wanted to stop by. Stop by. I got it. Thank you so much, and I'll see you later. Wait, 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 wait. What's your hurry? Have a seat. Uh, you know, I'm jet lagged. I gotta get home to the boys. I can come by tomorrow. Morgan drew you a picture of the Nile. It's yeah, blue. Yeah, You'll love it. Okay, sit down. Sit down. You know what? You, 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 you go halfway across the world to find Jax. You take our kids. I just, I just want to know what happened. It's fine. Okay, not fine. Jax played mind games with me. It was a big ego boost for Jax. It's over. I'm done. He wasn't happy to see you? Yes, he was happy to see me, but I'm not begging for another man. I did enough of that with you, so I'll see you Jax later. doesn't deserve you. Okay. He's about an inch deep, mile wide. You got courage, you got fire. Doesn't see it. Jax doesn't see it. Are you complimenting me or are you slamming Jax? <laughs> no, I mean it. He, you know, he... Look, he doesn't see what's going on here. He is shallow, and he's just, you know, he's just Jax. Forget payback. Move on, look for somebody better. Thank you for the pep talk. I don't want to talk about him anymore. Mm. I don't want to waste another minute thinking about Jax.